so <coughs> sorry hi all so i uh, i have been away for a week so uh, my exams are going on so i the last video was about functions so we'll continue with functions only in this video we'll continue with the uh, one one function on two function okay so uh, let's finish this first and we will then we'll be able to say that we have finished set theory and algebra okay then we will move on to permutations and combinations so that's it um, so that now let's start with this okay so what about my exam what see uh, my college uh, has been like a month now so i will make a video on that so see there are few people i know who are watching my videos and they are like hoping for when i will upload so i like owe them that i will upload if very few people are watching but still it's like uh, it's my duty i feel that i should upload on time uh, but in the past week i haven't got any time but uh, now i have got i will make as much video as possible um, okay so that's it uh, let's start with functions so let's continue with function not start so one to one functions okay so this is very easy basic one 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 function a function f from set a to set b is said to be one to one function if no two elements in a are mapped to same element in b okay so one one function like see this is very basic like so no two elements in a are mapped to same element in b okay so all will be different okay so now what are the number of functions possible um, here let's say we see we have taken this m elements n elements in our previous video only so continue with that notation so it is containing m elements it is containing n elements so let's say this a to b okay so a to b is the function so our one one function will contain this number of elements okay n p m okay so n permutation n okay so this is very easy we will now see on to functions okay so we'll try to remember this notation not remember m and n so because we will use this continuously so that you will be able to uh, see uh, visualize properly so which formula where it is used okay so let's continue with on to functions now let's see on to functions okay so on to function or it is also called surjective okay so a function f is defined a a to b is said to be on to function if each element of b okay so here b is considered is mapped by at least one element of a okay so here up till now we are seeing just a or um, like on one one function we have to see unique elements but now we have to see check b is mapped by at least okay at least it can be more than one but at least one element of a that is the range of a is equals to b so we can also say that that b is less than equals to a so you can have this in mind okay so now let's check some examples so here a to b is there so here you can see that it is mapped every element of b is mapped at least one element of a here okay so now this is on to but it is one one what do you think it's not one one because it is not unique element so here it is pointing to mapped to same element so not one one okay so now next see here so here this element in b okay so this is a this is b so this is actually left okay so no element of b is mapped to any element of a so not on to and definitely not one one because it is not mapped and here it is you can see this is basically one one and also each element of b is mapped to at least one element of a so this is a this is b and this is on to okay so now there is a formula okay so one on to formula you have to remember because i have seen one question in um, gate so you have to remember so light is falling in my face and i am like burning up anyways so i will um, uh, do that formula now and um, let's see that formula you have to remember okay so no other way you have to remember i pasted it on my wall so you have to remember anyway so let's see the formula now now let's see the formula here okay so the formula here is see if a is containing m elements b is containing n elements so we are following the conventional whatever we are following till now okay 
so then number of on to function possible from a to b is okay so it is n to the power m minus n c 1 into n minus 1 to the power m plus n c 2 into n minus 2 to the power m and this will continue okay n c 3 into n minus uh, 3 to the power m and it will continue till minus 1 to the power n minus 1 n c n minus 1. So, you can see the uh, sign is depending upon the uh, to the power uh, like n minus 1. So, here n minus 1 was 3 uh, minus ok. So, like this. So, let us see an example here. So, now our question is so in how many ways we can assign 5 employees to 4 projects ok. So, here m is 5 n is 4. So, that every employee so every employee m is assigned to only one project ok. So, only one project and so now you have to check very carefully every project is assigned to at least one employee so basically our on to um, that um, like whatever our on to definition was saying that at is every project the, the b is assigned to at least one employee to a ok so this is on to from here we can say that is on to because it is saying it is assigned that uh, n is assigned to at least one uh, of this image of this m ok. So, now we will apply the formula here m is 5 n is 4 we will just put the formula here and we will get what is our desired number of ways ok. So, this is our ways. So, you can just check with your calculator. So, this is coming as 240 ok. So, next we will see bijection. So, now let us see bijection ok. So, this is basically uh, both of um, taking one one and on two ok. So, now a function f a is to b is called bijection if f is one one and it is on two ok. So, it has to be one one as well as it has to be on two. So, we have already seen one one and on two. Now, basically if a and b are finite sets and bijection possible. Uh, a to b if and only if ok. So, double if double f means if and only if ok. So, when this is equal a is equals to b. So, now if a is equals to b is equals to n then number of bijection possible from a to b is n factorial. So, how let us see the cardinality here. So, in a 1 1 we have seen a was less than equals to b ok and when in on to we have seen a so b is less than equals to a. So, if we take the union of this so we have already seen union and etcetera. So, only the equals portion remains ok. So, this has to be the condition. So, in this way this condition is coming ok. So, just inverse is re remaining we will see uh, whatever gate questions are asked. So, if I uh, find a more question I will add ok. So, now let us see inverse function ok. So, so now inverse function is let f a arrow b if the inverse relation f inverse b arrow a b function a is a function then it is called inverse of f ok and it is denoted by f inverse. So, a arrow b is now denoted as f inverse as b arrow a ok. So, now let us see the theorem inverse of function a arrow b exists if and only if f is a bijection and bijection I have already seen 1 1 and on to functions ok. So, now I have already seen the concept now we will see the weight questions ok. So, bye and see you in next video.